good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in this world. I'm Double Dragon 912. What's going on with you people? Hey, it's been a while. News Fridays is finally back. Gameplay footage you see in the background, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know yet. I haven't decided yet. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get into my first, probably my first and only. I might add some more stuff to it. New story for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you did not know, unless you're living on a rock somewhere, mama, go on, point out the obvious. PlayStation Plus but went up again. Wow. Really, Sony? Seriously? Really, Sony? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be the first to tell you, you know, I'm a huge uh, PlayStation fan, as you can see right now. These companies, boy, okay, listen. Only way we can really stop these companies from doing what they're doing is we speak with our wallet. Until we start speaking with our wallet, these companies like Sony, Microsoft, whoever, they're going to keep doing it. I'm telling y'all, I'm thinking about just becoming a uh, PC gamer, for real. I got to give PC gamer credits. I remember growing up, I used to couldn't stand PC games. A lot of them I still can't stand with that arrogant talk. I'm a master race. I got 1080p. No, it ain't 1080p no more. 4K specs, 120 frames per second, blah, blah, blah. You know how they love to talk about specs. I ain't studying all that. Give me gameplay over graphics any day. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I'm starting to want to just do PC gaming, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't gonna lie to you, cause I got a, uh, I got my PlayStation Plus. I just resubscribed to it right before they they said it was gonna go down. I resubscribed to it, and uh, I did it for three more months, and so I ain't had to pay that much. But only reason, the real reason, I really get PlayStation Plus is for. Um, you know, the two so-called free games they give you every month, which they really don't give you free games every month. You get those two games, but once your subscriptions run out, you can't get those. You can't play those games. My subscription ran out the other day, and I didn't realize it did. I was up there trying to play my game. I'm like, why my game ain't working? I'm like, oh, I got to renew PlayStation Plus. It's ridiculous. But let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Before I get to the ranting and going off about this, so, this is the new PlayStation Plus price. For PlayStation Plus Essential, it's $80 now. You know, over here in the States. Uh, for PlayStation Plus Extra, it's $80. Let me get this straight. $80 for the year, for the whole year. It used to be $60, now it's $80 for the whole year for Essential. And for PlayStation Plus Extra, it's uh, $135 for the year. And for PlayStation Plus Premium, it's $160 for the year. Wow. Now, Sony, this is what tripped me out about y'all. I'll be the first to tell you, Sony, y'all ain't really got that multiplayer market down pat. You know, you and Microsoft have been fussing back and forth. Microsoft done pretty much won that court battle where they pretty much, after 10 years, they're going to have Call of Duty, you know, exclusive. But they bought uh, Activision. Y'all didn't know about that court battle, all that stuff going on. At, they, they struck a deal with Sony after 10 years. Call of Duty can remain on PlayStation for 10 years, and after that, pretty much, Microsoft will be able to do what they want with it. So 10 years, Sony may be doing that. Now, Sony is known for their single-player games. Let's get, let's, get, let's get that out the bag right now. Sony known for their single-player games. They really ain't got too many multiplayer games, period. What they, they used to have before they stopped making these franchises. You used to have Killzone, uh, Resistance. What else they had? Back in the day, in PS2, SOCOM. I never got into the SOCOM games. But they ain't really known for multiplayer games. Some is known for selling uh, single-player games. And you're going to go up on PlayStation Plus... And you don't really sell too many multiplayer games. Because, you know, if you didn't know, PlayStation Plus 
only things that's good for mainly, you need PlayStation Plus to play online. And I never will forget, because PlayStation Plus back on PS3 used to be free. There's still some people now that want me to get a PS4 or PS5 that they don't want to play that PlayStation Plus price. They'll still play games online on the PS3 because it's still free to play online. And the only reason, now I'm not trying to excuse Sony for none of this. The only reason, real reason Sony starts charging for online, they saw Microsoft, you know, Microsoft started charging for people to play online, Xbox Live. They said, wow, Xbox Live is doing it. And you know, People are paying it. And people kept paying it, kept, kept paying it, kept paying it, kept paying it. So I'm like, man, we need to start charging for online. One of these companies get away with it, the rest of the company be like, alright, we're gonna start doing it. Now, if you didn't know, Nintendo doing it. They got theirs cheaper, but they do even do it. They got like uh what is it, a month for $7.99 for I think for so three months and I think for a whole year is $19.99 over there in Nintendo, they doing it. And uh, Nintendo, I ain't finna get into that. We talking about Sony right now, but I'm telling you, the best way to stop these companies from doing what they're doing is to speak with your wallet. I'm telling y'all, I'm I'm about to stop just getting PlayStation Plus after this three month period run out. I'm probably gonna stop getting PlayStation Plus because the only reason I get PlayStation Plus now, I don't really do too many multiplayer games. I mainly, shit, what multiplayer games I do? Zombies. Mainly, I be, uh, I ain't done, done zombies in a while. Mainly, I be on uh, the, all these single player games that PlayStation got off. Probably after these three, these three months get through, I might not do it no more, for real. Just to teach Sony a lesson. Y'all wonder, y'all wonder. I got to give uh, Hard 8 credit. Shout out to your Hard 8 time. Competition is good. Competition is good. Now, a lot of people are like, man, we really don't need competition. Yes, we do. See, when Sony, they get that arrogant song. That's PS3 Sony. They, they, they were very arrogant, and, you know, it cost them. Cost them a lot, and they almost went out of business because they got arrogant, and, you know, all that stuff happened with the PS3. But PS3 still outsold Microsoft. I wish, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, I wish Sega was still in the competition. I wish they still had a, con, a console or something. Because uh, we ain't really ain't got, Sony ain't really got no competition. They, they, they competition is supposed to be Microsoft. And Microsoft, y'all see Microsoft. They ain't even trying to sell consoles. They doing Game Pass. Literally, like I tell people, people get mad at me when I say this. But I tell people, you don't need a Xbox. Literally, if you... If you are a PC gamer, literally, you do not need an Xbox. When I get it up enough money, I'm going to give me a, a gaming PC and just, you know, any exclusives I want to play that on Microsoft, I just play them on my PC. I'm for real. I'm telling y'all, I, I used to not be, be no PC guy. Um, they'll tell you. I used to can stand. I used to call them the PC, uh, uh, PC dummy. I, I, I couldn't stand PC gamers. They used to get on my nerve with that arrogant talk. But um, now, how Sony and Microsoft and all them doing their thing, I'm thinking about switching to just be a full time PC gamer. For real. Because, literally, it's about to be no point in owning a PS4. PS5, any of that. Because all these games that come out on Sony now, they're not going day and date to PC. But now, eventually, they go to PC. PC, what we got on PC? Spider-Man on PC now. Days Gone on PC now. Horizon Zero Done, which I really didn't play anyways. I got over there. I ain't even played it. Don't, don't want to. Uh, Ratchet and Clank on PC now. So, what is the point of owning a PlayStation? Literally, it's about to be like that. After a while, it's going to be like, why do I really need a PlayStation? Right now, you know, PlayStation consoles are still kind of relevant because they're not doing it day and date. But eventually, I think that's what Sony going to do. They're going to start releasing their games day and date on PC with the, with the PlayStation. And eventually, that console that, you know, y'all guys and girls 
uh, by gonna be useless. You might as well just get a PC. Well, at least I say this much on PC, I ain't got to worry about playing online. And I ain't no graphics yet. Y'all know I ain't no graphics yet. If y'all watch my videos, you've been following me. I'm not a graphics guy. Never been a graphics guy. I'm I'm all about the gameplay. You know, if it look pretty good, you know what I'm saying. But most time, if if you if your gameplay is there, you got me hooked. I don't care. Care to a certain extent how it look, but I'm I'm gameplay over graphics guy. That's that's how I've been. Ever since these new consoles came out, I've always been a gameplay over graphics guy. But how the gaming industry is going now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm I'm now Sony keep rising prices and now yeah, that's another thing I want to talk about. Uh, I found out that you know Persona, the new Persona, uh, HD remastered Persona. I forgot the name, but I have it up up there in the comment section or whatever. Uh, or you know what it really is, Persona 3 Reloaded. Pretty much they're finna revamp it, do a. Uh, re, uh, uh, not a remaster, but a what is it? Remake. And I was looking for the prices. You know, most time the PS4 price of the game be a little bit cheaper than the PS5. You know what they done did now? Sony think they slick. I I, I call on this. I'm gonna tell y'all. PS4 version of Persona 5. Not Persona 5. I'm tripping. Persona 3 Reloaded. That's the name of the game. Got it right. Sixty nine dollars now. New Madden. My dad just got the new Madden. You know, normally the PS5, PS5, triple, PS4 version of Madden be 59, you know, be $10 cheaper than the, uh, you know, the PS5 version. $69 now. Sony is solely, but slow, surely, then y'all know out here, because a lot of gamers don't know, they bringing the price up on the, uh, the PS4 copies of these games. They ain't no longer like $10 cheaper. Sony slowly but surely bringing the price up on these PS4 games. They're doing it slickly too. I, like, I don't think a lot of people know about this. They're doing it. They, they, they're really doing it like a. They're trying to creep it on in there, y'all. I'm telling y'all. And then y'all know that PS4 games now, a lot of them are coming out at $70 now. Wow. I know a lot of y'all, y'all, y'all are kind of hard me and say, hey, uh, uh, Double Dragon, don't you know the older games on Nintendo back in the day, Super Nintendo, all that used to be $16, $17? Yeah, I know that. I know that. Like I said, I've been gaming for a long time. I've been gaming since the Nintendo games, so I know that. I'm telling you. What I'm going to do, Sony? Telling you, telling y'all, I'm about to become a, <laughs> about to become a full fledged PC gamer. <laughs> Keep raising prices up on stuff, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, my my, my fellow gamers out there, the only way we can stop this from happening is we speak with our wallets, and we if we speak up loud enough, they'll stop. If we speak up loud enough, they will stop. We just got to speak up, y'all got to speak up and we need Microsoft to actually get up off their behind and start making games so Sony stop being so arrogant and you know Sony don't even consider Nintendo a competition but be honest with you the real people that really keep it to the exclusive games are Nintendo Nintendo the only one that really still making exclusive games you can always know that Regardless, Mario, if you want to play Mario, you got to buy a Nintendo Switch. You can't play him nowhere else. You know, you do emulation, but that's, you know, that's, um, that's, you know, that's on, like, older games, but that's a whole other story for a long time. But if you want a legit copy of Mario, you got to buy a Nintendo. You know, if you want a legit copy of, uh, Ratchet and Clank, <laughs> You ain't got to buy a PlayStation to get it, and Clank no more. You know, you can buy a PC. So really and truly, the only people that still selling out good games and still got exclude making your console still relevant, Nintendo. I got to get Nintendo credit. 
But yeah, I ain't gonna hold you too long. I've probably been talking too long as it is. That about wraps it up, ladies and gentlemen, for this rendition of News Fridays. Leave comments below, ladies and gentlemen. What do you guys and girls think about the PlayStation Plus price increase? Are y'all happy about it? Y'all don't care? You gonna buy it anyways? You're like, man, I'm gonna play my game. I don't care how much it is. I'm still gonna buy it. Are you like me? I'm thinking about just stop console gaming, paying for online console gaming all together, and just go to PC. I'm seriously thinking about it. Let me know down in the comment section. And also tell me what you guys and girls think about PS4 games prices going up to seventy dollars. Did y'all know about that, or you just never knew about it? Let me know down there in the comment section. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Stay tuned for more great videos on the way. Double Dragon Nine Twelve signing out. Peace out.